distractions. Resistance is useless. Stay where you are. You are in my power. You will obey my instructions. Do as he says. One Cyberman could stop an army. Just say the word and we'll rush him, Doc. He can't stop the three of us. I don't understand it. We've never had one turn pushy before. This craft is commanded by the authority of Cybernaut Zogron. You will now do my bidding. The Drifter's windmill-powered robot, Dutch, had other ideas. Only one thing to do with scrap metal. Break it up! <laughs> but instead of falling to the floor in fragments, the Cyberman appeared to grow. Your weapons cannot harm me. Any power directed at me will be absorbed and used against you. You have been warned. Dutch! Dutch, are you all right? <laughs> Dutch! Dutch, speak to me! I'm all broken up. Inside flats. And then... Oh no! The Cyberman has stolen the TARDIS. And taken jets with him. <laughs> Inside the TARDIS. Where are you taking me? Silence! You will not question my motives. A short while later, the TARDIS materialized on the surface of a rocky planet. Ouch! Just one good chance is all I need, and this tin gorilla is gonna find himself lying at the bottom of a cliff. <laughs> Next moment, the scrap dealer found himself confronted by a vision beyond his wildest dreams. Good grief! What is it? This... Puny human is all that remains of a once mighty cyber fleet. A fleet that was destined to traverse the cosmos. In the inner chamber, more wonders awaited. Behold, human, the great cybernaut Zogron. One of the pioneers of our interstellar empire. He seems to be in a bad way. Your task is to revive him, restore his systems to a level of function, and with the time capsule I have obtained, Zogron will once again rule time and space. Meanwhile, back on the Drifter, that Cyberman has taken the TARDIS for a reason, Flots. I've got to find out what and where. Oh, I'm sorry about all this, Doctor. Like we said, we've just reprogrammed the odd one or two for use as butlers. Uh, they go for a fortune. We didn't know it would cause all this trouble. Just a minute. Where did you pick up your first Cyberman? Uh, all the details are logged into the ship's computer. Uh, let me see. He was adrift in Quadrant 747, Arcturian System. And the one after that? Quadrant 746, Arcturian System. What's the nearest planet to those two points? A small planet called A54. It's an impossibility. A long shot, but it's our only chance. Can we get there? Oh, he can switch to solar power together with the ion drive motors. We can make good speed. But you'll have to navigate while I attend to the mechanics. Then let's go. Engines blazing, the drifter powered off into the void. And as dusk fell on A54... I have provided you with tools, human. Your task should be relatively simple. Yeah, about as simple as doing a jigsaw in the dark. I'll do my best, mate. The great sun, Arcturus, sank from sight. A moon rose, followed by another, and between them, a tiny speck of light, which grew larger by the hour. As Arcturus rose again, Jets was approaching exhaustion. Report your progress, human. 
Uh, see for yourself, mate. I've done the best I can. Cybernaut Zogran, what are your instructions concerning the resumption of your mission? I await your command. It, uh, oh. The cyber leader does not speak. You have failed, human. You give him a chance. I, I had to repair some extensive damage and make some very delicate adjustments. Look, 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 look. He's up on his hind legs. I think he's about to say something. Cyber leader, I await your command. The cosmos awaits. Speak to me. <laughs> Would you care for a small jelly before dinner, sir? Or would you prefer a gin and tonic? Your question does not compute. It is totally meaningless. Human, you have betrayed me. Your life will be terminated forthwith. May I take your coat, madam? Oh, not if I can help it, mate! This cave is futile. You have nowhere to escape to. He's got a point there. Either way, I'm a goner. <laughs> but then a familiar shape chugged into view. Wow! It's the Drifter! Come on, old girl! Come to your Uncle Jets! On board. There's a wrecked ship down there. Your scanners were right, Flots. They were designed to nose out junk, Doctor. Any sign of Cybermen? Not yet. Hold on. I saw the flash of a beam weapon. And the TARDIS is down there. I'm going in. So the Drifter, in all her stately glory, rumbled down to meet A-54. And her intrepid crew, with a hastily repaired Dutch, stepped out onto the surface. To be greeted with a desperate cry. Flats! Dark! Over here! Look out, Jets! Behind you! I leave this to me. I've got a score to settle. Back off, chum! I've got the drop on you this time! Your weapons are useless. I can absorb energy and direct it against you. That might be so, but this ain't a weapon! It's a spray paint! Huh? Excessive amounts of polymer plastics not conducive to normal functioning. The circuits fusing. Body mechanics seizing. Brain cells deteriorating. Oh. That last blast could have done for me, Doc. Thanks for the warning. Don't mention it. Are you sure you're all right? Right as ninepence, Doc. We've got a whole year's work ahead of us on this scrap planet. <laughs> Not to mention the most sophisticated super butler in the entire galaxy. <laughs> I'll leave you to it, chaps. I have a pressing engagement elsewhere. Bye. Heaven help us if they ever find any Daleks. Would you like a jammy dodger? 